Hi there. My name's Martin Ellis, a Cornish fisherman. I've been fishing all my life and now I'm retired. The last few months I've been rehearsing a song about my life as I'm now an artist. So I hope you enjoy listening to me song and seeing me paintings. I'll wet my whistle a minute. A Cornish fisherman he'll always be Even though he's no longer at sea Crabs and lobsters he's caught in inkwelled crab pots When things were slack he'd go long lining too Congers, lings, spur dogs and ray Even loads of sharks one particular day But pioneering ringnets he set out to do you can ask any fisherman, he'll tell you it's true. Now it was quite a thing to take his little boat All the way to Newlyn and then keep her afloat Pell church galore in the old smunth arose And he came in the gap down Newlyn down by the nose Now these implications were very clear to he Would he stay crabbing down Cadwith or catch pilchards at sea? So their house was valued and a mortgage was sought. The bank manageress was astounded on what he had caught. So the sad sight of for sale was on that month arose. And the last trip to Queek and off to Wales she goes. One chapter in life of nutties did close and off to poor Flevin to buy the Penrose. Now off Mousel Island nutty was bound for sure where he spotted shoals of pilchards much larger than before. He couldn't wait to shut his ringnet round, but it turned out because of this he nearly bloody drowned. He mastered the art of ringnetting some time ago, but not mastered the art of poking his fish below. A good catch had put Penrose's stability in jeopardy. Within one or two minutes there were three in the sea. Then Prevail was bought from Ireland, quite an apt name for E. Cause apparently that means it's meant to be. A steel ship he thinks is not likely to sink, but financially next time and not in the drink. The years that then followed were pretty damn bad. Weather crew and prices were driving him mad. So he made up his mind driving home from Penzance. He'd go and catch some sharks and just take his chance. So he had eight miles of rope, five hundred hooks and great big orange dams. And he caught a lot of mackerel and feathers and shook them off with his hands. He thought that the sharks would stop the financial sinking, but this was to be only wishful thinking. And so it was on international TV. The return of Nutty Noah for all to see. Even the newspapers did a big spread. A lot of angry people on seeing them dead. Too many days he steamed off our shores, not catching enough to pay for the stores. No pack of hounds to follow their scent, so not his house and boat has been spent. Unfortunately for he, it wasn't to be, to continue in the fishing industry. So with wife and two daughters in vans on some land, not he's now an artist, doing the best that he can.